Hey friends and welcome back to another video of the quadratic equation playlist. In the previous video, we had solved the question number two, that is x squared plus 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. And in today's video, we will be solving the third question. So let us see. Now uh, you can see that the equation m squared minus 5m is equal to minus 3. This equation is not in the uh, form of a quadratic equation. So first of all, we will uh, rearrange it to uh, have the proper quadratic equation format. And we will just uh, move this minus 3 to the left hand side. And hence uh, it will become m squared minus 5m plus 3 is equal to 0, which is the proper format of a quadratic equation. Now, so step one is to make the coefficient of uh, x square or we can say m square in this case as one. And since the equation uh, coefficient of x square, uh, m square is one, we will move to the second step. That is half into coefficient of m, the whole square. The coefficient of m uh, in this case is five. And we will write half into five, the whole square, which gives us five upon two, the whole square which is 25 upon 4. Now this 25 upon 4 we will be adding as well as subtracting in this given equation. The positive 25 will be given to the variable side and the negative will be given to the constant. So here we have divided the equation into two parts and we get m square minus 5m plus 25 upon 4 plus 3 minus 25 upon 4, which is equals to zero. Now this equation is in the form of a square minus 2ab plus b square and we have to reduce it to a minus b the whole square and over here uh, we have 3 minus 25 upon 4 so we have to cross multiply it so first we will see this part uh, in this we have to take the square root of the first term sine of the second term and square root of the third term so the square root of the first term will get m sine of the second term will be minus and square root of the third term will be uh, 5 upon 2 since uh, square root of 25 is 5 and square root of 4 is 2. And over here we will cross multiply this 4 with this 3 and it will become 12 minus 25 upon 4. Uh, hence we have 12 minus 25 upon 4. And we get m minus 5 upon 2 the whole square plus minus 13 since 12 minus 25 is minus 13 upon 4 and next we get uh, we will send this minus 13 upon 4 to the right hand side so we get plus 13 upon 4 and now we will write this 13 upon 4 or 4 in the form of a square so that will get uh, root 13 upon 2 the whole square since root 13 into root 13 is equal to 13 uh, so we had m minus 5 upon 2 the whole square which is equals to root 13 upon 2 the whole square. Now, since we do not want the squares in our uh, equation, we will uh, remove them and we get m minus 5 upon 2, which is equals to plus and minus root 13 upon 2. Now, since it is a plus and minus, we will be having two uh, forms. One is m is equals to root 13 upon 2 and uh, plus uh, root 13 upon 2 and one will be minus root 13 upon 2. This m by 2 will go to the right hand side and it will become plus 5 by 2 and this will also become plus 5 by 2. So we have m is equals to root 13 plus 5 upon 2 and m is equals to minus root 13 plus 5 upon 2. So these two are the roots of the given equation. So root 13 plus 5 upon 2 and minus root 13 plus 5 upon 2 is the root of the given equation. I hope uh, all uh, you all, you all don't have any doubts in this uh, particular question. If you all have any doubts, please let me know in the comment section. And for more such uh, videos, stay tuned and study with me.